So what are the education messages that we've been trying to do to counter some of the misconceptions along the way? The first thing is that essentially we have a wonderful health system and we're all working towards the same goal and the patient is at the centre of that goal. Clinicians focus very much on best clinical practice and evidence-based medicine and ABF is not mutually exclusive to that. So if you ask a clinician what's best clinical practice, they'll tell you they want something that's patient-centred or patient-focused, evidence-based, equitable and easily accessible, efficient and benchmarked against our peers, and is evolving because there's rapid developments in medicine all the time, so these sort of things need to be regularly updated. And when you look at what activity-based funding can potentially deliver, they can meet all of those needs. So individual pa patient data over time will be able to be collected. This um, will lead to evidence being generated because we'll have enough data at the patient level that we won't have had previously. It'll be much more equitable because of the transparency of funding and we'll know where that funding is going. Because of efficiency, there'll be a reduced waiting lists and so accessibility will be easier. That patient, individual patient data will allow cost variation uh, and investigation of that to further benchmarking against our peers. And regular review of this system will allow us to learn and improve from those inefficiencies. So you can see that these two ethoses are actually aligned. The second message that I try and get out to clinicians is that ABF does not limit the amount hospitals can spend on individual patients. Clinicians worry very much about individual patients and how they will be allowed to treat them in the future. The third message links on from that and is that clinicians determine the care needed for the patients and that ABF funds hospitals based on averages and we know some patients cost more but some patients will also cost less. And th fourthly, ABF is not a cost-cutting exercise and it actually does promote evidence-based practice and that's the one that I often listen to the most. So the funds that have been set aside for each of the treatment categories actually re reflect the evidence-based treatment options, not the cheapest treatment options. So if there's two options for treatment and both have similar outcomes and one's cheaper, then obviously this system would identify that and allow us to use that cheaper option. The last message is in terms of the time side of things is that it doesn't necessarily mean more paperwork and more documentation. It's just it's the quality of documentation that needs to change. And we all know the importance of recording the full complexity of our patient stays because that's going to maximise the funding for our individual hospitals. 